Greetings, everyone. Hope all of you are having an absolutely fantastic day. We are back with more Pathfinder content. I gotta be honest with you. I'm actually a little shocked that this save even loaded. I have come to the end of my ropes with this beta. The playthrough, the speed run that I was doing to try to get to some of the higher level content and give a more comprehensive review of the beta for you, the saves just keep corrupting. It seems like every time I exit out of the game and need to load back into it again, I lose a bunch of progress. I already mentioned I got up to Queen Galfrey, ended up having to do the entire Great Garrison over again just to be able to talk with her. And now I got all the way up to the Dresden battle, loaded up the save today and corrupted again. I don't know how far back I'd have to go in order to find a save that's working, but I've decided this is that's just too much. That's a step too far for me to just randomly lose an hour or multiple hours of progress for random errors. I'm going to have to wait until they patch this thing further. I will continue with this playthrough until I end up having the same issue where I load up a save and it's corrupted, and then I'll probably stop this as well. Again, it's just not worth it if I'm going to lose hours of progress. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, I'll definitely be monitoring the Alcat boards for when they finally patch this issue because I feel like there's been a lot of you commenting on my videos, letting me know that you're experiencing the exact same thing. So I don't think it's a rare issue. I did reach out to Alcat about this on Twitter. They asked me to clear my settings, um, which did fix an earlier issue I had um, a couple of updates ago where the beta flat out wouldn't load and that did work previously, but it did not work to fix the issues I've had in this beta, specifically my save files corrupting and not being able to talk to pivotal NPCs during the story. So until I hear that those issues have been patched and taken care of, I'm going to stop with the beta. Um, I've got a couple of more videos regarding Pathfinder outside of this playthrough that I'm going to continue with. Um, I will give you an uh, updated video about how I feel about the beta overall outside of those issues based upon the content that I've seen. And I think there's maybe one other video I want to do. But because I'm not at a high level, I'm not going to be able to do any more of the build videos until they get this patched up. So I might actually step away from Pathfinder for a bit and try to continue with something else. I keep hearing about Baldur's Gate 3, so I might step into that uh, if and when this playthrough can no longer be continued. So just want to make sure all of you were updated on that and it was clear with everyone. I really appreciate your support um, on this playthrough and on really all of my Pathfinder content. You all know I absolutely love the game and I love covering the game. And with all the other errors and bugs and issues that it's experienced, I had no problems fighting through that. But apparently, <laughs> corrupted saves are my limit. Even when I couldn't talk to NPCs and I was missing out on content, I was moving forward. But to lose hours of progress, that's, that's just too much for me. That's just too much. So with that being said, let's go ahead and continue and finish the last part of the maze. Unlocked. All right. Is there any? Open your heart. I'm not at a high enough level yet for me to really turn on any buffs that will we still stay on quick. by the time we'll this conversation ends. Down. So we might as well just go ahead and move forward. Praise I am a day. Yikes. Here you are, huddled together like a herd of animals. Pitiful monsters, not human or demon. Even tieflings are less defective than you. But I, your master, Salamalek, can make you better, stronger. I can satisfy your hunger, starvelings of the dark. Submit to me. No. We are the descendants of Crusaders. Trusting a demon will be a betrayal of their memory. Hasilla. Well, who is the next descendant of Crusaders who values old legends more than their life? 
beast. Monsters in human guise reveal your true nature. This is the sweet, wholesome flesh of a righteous Asimair. Eat underground crusaders. Eat the flesh of the crusader from above. Find your true strength. You rush at the demon, but the air seems to grow thicker with every step. You feel like you're watching from underwater as you see the mongrels fall to their knees one after another and crawl to the Asimir's body. You hear their fangs tearing through the flesh. You hear the sloshing of blood. You hear the former mongrels snarl like animals, fighting over the most tender and juicy bits of meat. Your companions writhe in agony. One clutches at the head, another doubles over. You feel saliva pool in your mouth. The metallic twang awakens hunger in you. The hunger turns to rage. This wing filth dares to try to bind you to its will. It dares to tempt you with the sweet scent of meat untainted by corruption. The wretch must die, die. And still the clarity remains with you. Somewhere deep down, beneath the veil of rage and anger, you sense the light trying to break through. Succumb to the rage. You permit the rage to possess you and malevolent joy spreads through you. Freedom. Freedom to kill anyone who stands in your way. The demon, the cultist, and their pathetic Mongol fighters are no match for you. You feel the crimson fog of hatred cloud your vision. Your simmering blood no longer wishes to languish in your veins. It wants to be free. It bursts forth from your chest wound in powerful pulses. It's heady scent, dispelling the last threads of sanity. Back, maggots! The demon hisses, backing away. Ah, there's more to you than meets the eye. You have our power within you. Slaves, destroy this vermin. Hasilla points at you. He's already wounded. Wendoar, kill! Wendoar takes a step forward. I no longer serve you, you bitch. Not you or your flying monkey. I always fight with the strongest side. Lan emerges from the shadows, knocking an arrow on his bow as he moves. what I miss? A dramatic showdown? Oh, it's you. Perfect. They will break against our resolve. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 Really? What do you see, Lindor? There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, mighty Salomalek. Your faithful servant invokes you now. Demons, protect your mistress. Demons always make the worst guards. <laughs> All right. Boom, boom, boom. Work, work, you silly spell. Burn, Good slice, uh, behead, yes, behead. <laughs> what are you talking about? Excellent. They didn't have a choice. They were forced to do it. Keep telling yourself that, Lan. There is always a choice. They could have chosen to die, but now they're going to live and become stronger. I know that from personal experience. 
Shut up! You're not just a traitor, you're a monster! The young ones, they believed your stories, and you lured them to a demon and watched them eat human flesh! I was trying to make them strong. What have you done for them? What were you doing while I was looking for ways to bring strength to our tribe? You're useless, Lan. I led by example! I trained. I tried to become stronger so I could go to the surface and maybe do something worthwhile with my stupidly short life. And I will do it. I might be the one to bring our whole tribe to the surface. But you? Why would you want any power that turns you into a monster? These young guys and girls, they trusted you. And they were turned into mindless animals, ready to eat corpses at a demon's command. I went through the same ritual as them, and I didn't become an animal. I conquered my anger. The anger that has been building and building in every one of us for decades. Unlike you, I have no intention of just lying down and politely accepting death. I will rise above all this, while you'll still be stuck with your pride, chewing on rats. Who do you want at your side? The person who betrayed the demons to follow you? The person who will do everything you say and bring glory to your name? Or this trash? Inspect the wound on your chest. The bleeding, deep wound on your chest is gone like it was never there in the first place. The skin is totally smooth and unmarred. <sighs> it's gone. It was just there and now it's gone. It's gotta be some kind of demonic trickery. You need to have a cleric look at that. <laughs> As if you know anything about demons and their powers. Some dark force cast its gaze on him and chose him from among all others. There is magic inside this Uplander that is beyond your meager understanding. And all you have to say is, go see a cleric. You're pathetic, Lan. Lan, how did you find the way here? I just kept going until I found it. You can find a way into anywhere if you try hard enough. And besides, I also remembered some of this traitor's stories. At least some of them were true. But that doesn't matter now. We need to tell Sol everything, and then we need to get out of here. We? You think you're the one going to the surface with them? Isn't that sweet? So you've been serving Savamalek this whole time, Windwalk? Better to serve a strong master than to eke out an existence in a dark hole with no hope. I am of the Neathers. Our lives are short, but we are hardier than humans. I realized a long time ago that I was capable of more than this life offered, and I follow whomever is the strongest. You... You scared Saba Malik. Hosilla has fallen. Now, I wish to serve you. I thought you were proud of your heritage. But you're willing to crawl on your belly before anyone who's even a little stronger than you. You say you didn't become an animal? <laughs> what a joke! Only animals pledge their allegiance to whoever has the sharpest teeth. Oh, but what am I saying? Even cave spiders are loyal to their mother. You're even lower than that. <laughs> oh, so now you think you know everything about me. You're one of the best hunters in the tribe. It benefited me to ingratiate myself with you. So I acted in a way that pleased you. And the Uplander will get the Windward that he wants to see. I'm willing to do anything to get out of this hole. <laughs> and you're willing to do anything too. Don't try to hide it. I know you, Lan. I've had time to study you. I'm going to the surface only because my time has come to leave. The Uplanders are in danger. They need all the help they can get. 
But I'm only risking my own life. See the difference? I'll do whatever the crusade asks of me, but I'll never be like you. Why didn't you try to stop us from going inside the maze? You knew we might uncover your secret. Sava Malik is always in need of new servants. You'd make as good a servant as anyone else, and then... <laughs> Once you've gone missing in the maze, not even the redoubtable land would have dared to look for you. But then why did you come with me to look for the sword? So I could kill you quietly if you found it and stop you taking it to the village, you idiot. I would have told everyone that you got caught in a cave-in. But then the Uplanders showed up and I had to change my plans. I don't regret what I did. I met you. Just say the word and all the Neethers will be yours. I'll bring them to you if you take me with you. What exactly are you proposing to do with the Mongols? What you saw here. They will become stronger. They will be an army unlike anything ever seen before on Galarian. Our lives may be short, but while we live, we are faster, deadlier, and harder to kill than most. I am offering you an army. An army that will win you land, power, and everything you desire. An army of cannibals? Are you insane? <laughs> you want to turn them from rational beings into rabid beasts that only want to kill. They will be slaves, and you will be their slave driver. Is that the kind of power you're so desperate to gain? I went through the same process they did. The beast raged inside me. My mind was foggy, but I have an iron will, and I never back down. I snatched victory from the jaws of insanity. If there are any individuals worthy of becoming my officers among those neithers, they will be able to do the same. You say you went through the same ritual. Does that mean you ate human flesh too? Yes. Corsilla found me in the caves. I was lost and hungry. And she offered me a choice. Die as a nobody, or live, and gain the power to change everything. Sava Malik tore off a piece of an Azimar priestess's thigh. A big, juicy piece. More neat than I'd ever received in the tribe. <laughs> that was the first time I knew what it was like to be happy. To have a full belly. I swore to myself that it would always be that way. Then the madness and rage took over. I came very close to turning into an animal, no better than the weaklings you saw in the maze. But I am strong. I mastered myself. I brought myself under control. I fell so that I could rise again. You should have chosen death. Dying's better than living like that. You're saying I should have died that day, Lan. But then who would have listened to your feeble jokes? Who would have showed you the best caves for hunting? Who would have made you a man? I would have been fine without all that. And without you. Your death will make the world a slightly better place, Wenduag. Look, isn't our land sweet? Look how his eyes blaze as he speaks of murder. And we were so close, too. Tell me, what do you think he'll do to you if you fail to live up to his precious ideals? What did your service to Scylla entail? It was simple. I lured those I deemed worthy into the maze. To the rest, I told stories of the horrors of the maze, making them stay away. It all hung in the balance when the cave walls shuddered, and many of the young ones decided that the time of their great exodus had come. I had no doubt that Hosilla would dispatch a dozen young neaters easily. But what would become of the maze if all the tribes poured in? 
So when Lan ran off looking for the Angel's sword, I went after him. Not to help him, but to make sure that the sword never reached Neatholm. It's a pity that you got involved and stopped me from killing him. But then again, the evening gong has not yet been struck. You sickened me. <laughs> I've heard enough. Then you know which one of us you need. Take me with you, and I will give you an army of Neathers. Don't fall for her empty words. Wenduag despises everyone but herself. As soon as you show any weakness, she'll betray you, just like she betrayed us. That is the reasoning of a weak person. A strong person does not fear they act. I have questions for you too, Wenduag. You can ask me anything you want. Then you know which one of us you need. Take me with you, and I will give you an army of Neathers. Why do you want to come with me, Lan? Up there on the surface, the Crusades are still going on, right? Since I'm a mongrel, uh, that means I've got Crusader blood in my veins. You could say it's my destiny, even. Anyway, I'm ready to do my duty. And all of you Crusaders get rations, right? With vegetables? <laughs> well, I'll be killing demons and be well fed for doing it? That's not life. That's a dream come true. <laughs> I'm sorry you trusted Wenduag instead of me, and that you didn't show the light of heaven to Sol. But she can be very persuasive. She honed her skills on all of us in the tribe. I'm asking you believe me when I say that I won't let you down. I have nothing to lose down here apart from my chief's distrust and my friendship with the giant roaches. I'll do whatever the crusade needs. Are you really that desperate to go to the surface, Lan? Why didn't you run away before? You know why. The Uplanders will never accept us. Don't pretend you're going for food rations. Then why? For death? For glory? If it's death you seek, you're sure to find it. Maybe I'll be able to find something on the surface that you can't get down here. Like a way to help the mongrels. A way to stop our tribes from having to follow scum like you. Why do you want to help me, Windowalk? You think I'm just a freak from the catacombs. The Neathers are faster, stronger, and tougher than you Uplanders. Take me with you, and I'll build you an army of Neathers. I'll lure them out of this hole, we'll round them all up every last tribe, and perform the ritual. And then, you will be a power to be reckoned with on the surface. Many of the Neathers will be no better than the mindless beasts we encountered in the dungeons. But there will also be those who can overcome the fog and be like me. I will lead them into battle, and you will command us all. You trusted me from the beginning and hid the angel's light from that idiot Saul. Keep listening to me. And a glorious future awaits us. The power you demonstrated. It was incredible. It swept Hosilla aside. It sent Sabamelech running. I will follow you wherever you go. All right, I've made my decision. I hope we're not taking this girl with us. She'll sell us to the first demon she sees. If we're befriending monsters in order to fight the demons, why not join forces with the strongest of them? Isn't that the rational choice? They're both equally hideous. Neither of them will improve the aesthetics of our little band. Come with me, Windowalk. You're making a mistake. If some priest ever winds up down here, I'll ask him to pray for your soul. But I doubt it'll help you. Who cares what you think? The Master has made his choice. Lan knows too much. He must die. <sighs> You're right. I know everything. And I also know where I'm not wanted, so I think I'll just go and have a chat with Sol. Leave while I'm still in a good mood, Lan. Yeah, 
If this is you in a good mood, then maybe I'm lucky we're parting ways now. Away. Don't worry, Lan, I'll get you. Wait here, Master. I will bring Sol and the other Uplanders. We'll make sure that everyone knows that Lan failed to save anyone and fled like a coward. Chief Sol appears flanked by mongrels. The journey has taken its toll on him. His breath is labored, and the sweat is dripping from his bloated face. What? What is? Anivik is a low whistle. Well, I'll be damned. Turns out old Horon isn't as crazy as we all thought. There really were demons down here. I should have listened and sent a patrol down here. Damn it. Horgus' lips curl in distaste that he tries to keep his distance from the unconscious mongrels. You said you were in charge of reconnaissance for the Eagle Watch, Anivia. How could you miss the nest of demons beneath Kenebris? Yeah, right. Like, it wasn't enough that I sniffed out every damn shadow in the city. Everybody knows the stories about the demons living beneath the streets of Kenebris. Those tales were as old as the Crusades themselves. I messed up, but you fixed my mistake, so thanks. Anivia, how's the leg? Anivia winces slightly but forces a smile. Better than yesterday. Worse than the day before. I'm not going to die, don't worry. The maze was full of dangers, but we dealt with them. Windowall crosses our arms. I sensed that the maze was an evil place, and so it was. There was a demon sitting right in the center of it, with spells to dull our minds. We barely managed to overpower him. When we reached the cultist's lair, that's when we saw land. He ran like the coward he is, abandoning the young ones to be mauled by the demon. Saul looks at the unconscious mongrels laid out on the ground. Yes, land is too hasty. We would survive if we listened to people like him? No, land is not one of us. He does not understand our path. You understand, Mundua, you saved us. Always thought you were a decent sort. Respect. You need to look after the young mongrels. They are out for the count, but when they wake up, Chief, you'll see that these experiments have made them stronger. Some of them have lost their minds, but that doesn't matter. What matters is that they survived. They're warriors now. As long as they can hunt, the rest can wait. Uplander and you, Windowalk, you saved them. That's what matters. We will help them from here. But if they want to go to the surface, I don't know if there's anything I can do to stop them. It's time to get out of here. I'm going with the Uplanders, Chief. The maze holds no more secrets now. I have to go further. So I'll give Haves a sigh. Hmm. You always have to go further than everybody else. But what can I do? Go on then, but make sure to come back to us somehow. But where are you going? Where's the way out? I think I've worked it out. Wonderwog searches Hasilla's body and shows you some papers and a key. If there's a key, there's a door. If there's a letter, then it was intended for someone. Anita's eyes quickly skim over the letter and she passes it to you. Those cheeky sons of... This is all the information on the cultists in the city. Their meaning places, passwords, the secret little hideouts. I think we should show this to whoever is in charge of Kenebris right now. As soon as we get back to the surface, we'll find out what's what. All right. Relatively painless. Maybe got hit up a little bit, but that's okay. Oh, I didn't. Um, I didn't sleep before I left. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Use. 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 All right. Let's get out of here. That's enough time in the maze. Anything 
useful, anything useful, anything useful. Looks like we're all good. Wander the dungeons. The battle on the surface rages on. The warriors of Canabris are trying to defend the Wardstone, but their strength is flagging. Their resistance is valiant, yet it will all be in vain if no one rises up to turn the tide. The surface, finally. I miss the fresh air so much. Mm, I can't. I can hear the sounds of battle from above. Out of the pan and into the fire. All right, let's go. Wherever my legs carry me. <laughs> Divine weapon bomb. I think before it was just showing the flashes, but it wasn't telling you what she was actually doing. That's helpful. The half felt the half orc before you, wearing armor adorned with Ayamade's golden swords, is clearly exhausted. She obviously hasn't gotten much sleep over the last few days. There's soot on her face and fresh blood on her sword. Her hazel eyes are hard and focused, and her firm voice sounds accustomed to giving orders. She sizes you up, surprised, judging whether you are friend or foe, and opens her mouth to ask you something, but freezes when she spots Anivia. Isn't she was among the lucky one and a company? As if you don't remember Anivia yet? <laughs> that's that's funny. Okay, whatever. By the goddess Nevi, I I'd almost lost all hope. Everything's fine, Beth. I'm here. I'm here. Anevia strokes Erebeth's head and whispers something in her ear, then stands back and points at you. This here is Asmodeus IV. He routed up those of us who survived the fall and led us up to the surface. Without him, we'd never have made it out. She turns to you. Asmodeus IV, let me introduce you to my wife, Erebeth Terabade, head of the Eagle Watch. The half orc nods. Until the army arrives, I'm the temporary warden of Canabras, and you're just in time. As you can see, we're in the middle of a battle, and her stern voice grows a little softer. Thank you for getting a Nevi out of there. Where are we? The Grey Garrison. Until recently, it served as barracks for the Crusaders, but it's now been taken over by cultists. What is the target of this battle? When the demons attacked the city, their main target was the Wardstone. I trust I don't have to explain to you what the Wardstone is and how important it is to the Crusaders. We must retake it at any cost, or the fall of Canabras will be the beginning of the end of the Crusades, and with them, the rest of the world. I see that you had a difficult journey to the surface. You need to rest. But there's a lot riding on this battle. I have no right to command you, but I'm asking you to help us. I have important information about the location of a cultist dead. Very good. Report to me in full when we get back to the Defender's Heart. It's our temporary headquarters. Right now, the most dangerous cultists are here. The ones occupying the Grey Garrison. We met some Mongols who live beneath Kenebras. This is Windowog. Most people in Kenebras think that the children of the First Crusaders are simply a legend. Other people say that the day you emerge on the surface heralds the start of the end of the world. I'm not superstitious. But the situation is apocalyptic, all right. Having a living legend on our side can't hurt. I see you are in serious need of help. You're in luck. If my master is with you, then I am with you also. What's the situation in the city? The city's gone. Most of the defenders, including the dragon Terendalev, fell in the first few hours. The civilians either fled or died in the chaos. The place is overrun with cultists and demons. Don't talk like that. Canabres hasn't fallen. Not while it still has defenders like you and me. Sweet words don't change the grim truth. No, she's right. Thank you, Knight. Until we no longer have the strength to hold a weapon, until Iomade abandons us, we will fight for Canabres. 
Tell me about the Wardstone. Why is it so important? The Wardstones are a gift of Iomade. Created personally by her herald, a mighty angel, and a general of the Celestial Armies. The Wardstones keep the world wound from expanding. They stand along the border of the territory controlled by the demons, creating a barrier to keep them inside. The Canabras Obelisk was the first to be placed. It is the key to the whole barrier. We cannot leave it in the hands of those monsters from the Abyss. How did the Wardstone end up in the Great Garrison? The demons have long laid siege to Canabras, but this time, their Lord Descari appeared in the flesh. He ripped the Wardstone from the ground and hurled it halfway across the city to here. I thought the stone was destroyed, but it seems all is not lost, yet. Descari has gone, but the Wardstone is surrounded by a horde of those creatures. What are they going to do to it? Nothing good, that's for certain. But how did he do that? He's a demon! The Wardstone should have burned his filthy hide! It should have. But what happened, happened. We don't know why. Let's not waste any time to battle. That's the spirit. You, take Anavia to the rear. The rest of you with me. You hear labored breathing, interspersed with disgruntled muttering. Horgus is holding his rapier hilt in a white knuckle grip. A bead of sweat trickles down from his temple. <laughs> Lord Horgus Worm, forgive me. I did not realize we had civilians among us. My people will escort you somewhere safe. To the extent that anywhere in Canabras can be said to be safe right now. All right. Very nice introduction, in my opinion. I think it does a good job of establishing your best character early. All right, let's move on. I see blood. Blood! That's weird. Usually, when you got here, a cutscene would start, and those people would all rush in, and then my people rush in after them. And that's what I was expecting to happen. Which is why I didn't take more of a defensive posture. But, oh well, whatever. At the end of the day, we still mop them all up. Give me that, give me that. That's not relevant. Give me that, give me that. That, 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 that. Mm -hmm. That, that. All right. Sixty percent. Let's do eighty-five percent, shall we? I am helpful. Excellent. Am I not? I'll watch your back. Oh, hey! So they automatically rested us. That's cool. Magritium Turinos. Magritium Turinos. I will help where I can. All right. I know you. So you're one of these cultists? How's it going, pal? Wanna join? Your life will be dead soon, but we'll be alive. I, uh, I can't. Come on, leave those losers. The crusades are over. Soon the demons will rule the whole world. <laughs> I didn't, I never noticed. He waves him over. Here goes nothing. All hell, Baphomet. Cowardly traitor, I swear on the sword of I am a day, we will. Mm. I am a day protects us. This demon stand no chance. We'll let her deal with them, and we'll go over here. I'll rip you apart. Uh, get some rage going. I guess she can start. No, she'll start with this. Oh, 
I forgot how long it takes to do that. There we go. Now you guys want to come around. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Boom, boom. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's just tired from raging. Okay, that's fine. Uh, this is better, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> there we go. Oh. A bright future awaits he's having problems too. It'll be much easier after this. What is the problem? Oh. go okay continuing on let's go trail me to battle let's take Kenebrez back mm-hmm no 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 we're good let's go it's always weird to me the way they show that I understand it's to clarify why you have to go around when you come back to the great garrison but still What's this? Do we have guests? <laughs> Just in time. The place is a bit of a mess, and I haven't even poured the blood into the goblets yet. Why don't you... Oh! <gasps> what an unexpected surprise! Staunton, my little sweetheart. Long time no see. I've missed you so much. Have you missed me? Admit it. You missed me terribly. Uh, Minago. You again, you wench! Minago, the one who... Be careful. She's one of the deadliest creatures in the whole demon horde. She was once responsible for a massacre in Canabras. She must be back to finish what she started. Chaotic. A demon woman. What's wrong with your face? Oh, how rude. You're one to talk, mortal, with a face that even a mother would loathe. Staunton, sweetie. You're not going to let your friends speak to me like that, are you? That wench? She's the one who led me astray. She's the reason my life has gone to the abyss. She's the reason... Why, Teresin fell. Oh my, like butter wouldn't melt. What I remember is how eagerly you would run to our trysts, how you begged to see me again, how you promised you'd do anything I asked. By your own free will, you said this. And now you claim that Dresden fell because of me. No, no, my dear. That was entirely your own doing. I'll beat your lying lips into your filthy throat! Now, Staunton, don't say things like that. Not about these lips, the ones you kissed so sweetly. Staunton, dearest, don't you love me anymore? Remember how good we were together? I was so hoping that we could patch things up. I'll kill you! So I think most of the voice acting in this game is pretty solid, but Monago most especially, 
is very, very impressive in my personal opinion. I think they did a fantastic job with whoever her voice actress is. I mean, I feel like the character is even more villainous and sinister when you actually get to hear her. Great job. Great, great job. I'm getting tired of healing this dude. It'll be easier once we get to uh, defend his heart. We'll add a person and I'll um, switch to turn base. As soon as you step into the chamber, your vision seems to darken and your knees buckle. You struggle to keep your balance. The air in here is laden with the power coming from the stone. Suddenly, your head is filled with voices, screaming, whispering, cackling, threatening voices, pleading for help, shrieking curses and taunts. You blink and the illusion passes. Congratulations, you made it all the way here. This is it, your precious ward stone. Well, what are you planning to do now, hmm? I could kill you where you stand, but wouldn't it be nice if you could die in battle like heroes? No. I want you to die in despair, scrabbling around like rats in the blighted ruins of your city, blind and broken, your flesh scabbed and seeping, and every moment knowing precisely what was done to you. There isn't a soul that can resist the temptations of the abyss. Even a stone can be turned. I'm not joking. Your precious ward stone, weakened from the injury inflicted by Discari, has almost succumbed to my charms. Soon the whole barrier around the world wound, the gift of your useless goddess, will be a weapon of the abyss. Just a little more, and boom. <laughs> Every city with one of these eyesores stuck in the middle of it, from Canabras to Nerosian, will turn into smoking craters, and all the mortals into red sludge beneath our hooves. So you have a choice. Especially you, my pet. Kiss me on my dainty hoof, pledge your loyalty to Baphomet, and when the world falls, its ruin shall be yours. Who are you? You've already forgotten me. You mortals have awfully short memories, even shorter than your little lives. Staunton, sweetums, don't you want to introduce me to your friends properly? No? Well, I'd better do it myself. I am Minago. Lily too, and faithful servant of Baphomet, and leader of his armies. This city is mine now. I'm just starting to settle in, get things just how I like them. But once I'm finished, I promise you, the results will be simply to die for. And it was such a charming little place until you sullied it with your presence. It had such lovely boulevards, quiet and shaded, you took those away from me, and I shan't forgive you for that. They've done much worse things than spoil the promenades. All the people they've killed. Yes, yes, of course, you're right. I grieve for the common folk as well. <laughs> you feel righteous fury swell within you. How dare this demon besmirch the ground of this beautiful world with her hooves, a world created by the gods and cultivated by mortals. And these cultists, how dare they betray all that is sacred in this world and join the forces of the foulest evil? Can they repent and redeem themselves, or are they follow the path of evil past the point of no return? The ward stone seems to sense your thoughts. The chamber grows slightly brighter. What are you doing to the stone? Quite, what am I doing to it? 
Probably the same thing I did to many of your comrades. Sweetly and tenderly persuading it to abandon the mortals and join our side. Prepare to fight to the death, demon! We won't let that happen. You feel a sudden rush of wild rage. And with it comes a feeling of monstrous, unbridled, destructive power. It is like the power you felt in the shield maze when you were confronting Salamalek, but now it feels more fully fledged, more conscious. Shut your filthy mouth, scum. Make me. One of the sweetest spoils of war is gloating over your broken and humiliated enemy. You want to deny me that pleasure? I will remember these words, scum. And I will say them back to you. Evil requires demon mythic path. Succumb to the rage. You're sick of talking. Why do you have to listen to her? Why can't you just crush, rip, devour whoever you want? Whoever's in your way. A malevolent war erupts unbidden from your throat. Hey, are you all right? If you're planning on going berserk, don't forget who's friend and who's foe. There she is. The demon! Go get her! Mmm, failed. Who does this dwarf think he is? How dare he give you orders? You will silence him for good. The rage bursts free. You want only one thing, to gouge out Stalin's eyes, break open his rib cage, and rip out his heart. How am I missing him? What is the problem? There we go. Come on now. <sighs> boom, boom. There we go. That's it. I'm tired of playing around now. You want to know what will happen when I'm done with the ward stone? Here's a little demonstration. The demoness whispers a spell, and a wave of darkness sweeps through the chamber. Your companions wince in pain, but it is nothing compared to what you feel. Thousands of voices once again burst into your mind, drowning you in their moans, screams, and sobs. Pain rocks through your skull evil. You will pay for this demon scum. You will pay dearly. I will dig out holes where your eyes should be and pour hot coals in them. How inventive. <laughs> Powerless rage. I love it. Threaten me more. The roar of voices blends into an unbearable wall of screaming. Your vision goes dark. Praise Iomade, you woke up. Healing your wounds was easy, but you were unconscious for so long, I was starting to worry we'd lost you. What happened? We couldn't stand up to the demoness. Her spells were too strong. <sighs> it's all right. We'll handle it somehow. You blacked out, but Staunton and I managed to get you here to the Defender's Heart. It used to be a tavern, but now it's our headquarters. We're gathering our forces here, and we're preparing to strike back. At the mention of Staunton, Erebeth gives you an uneasy look. It seems that your attack on him did not go unnoticed, and yet it was blamed on the demonic magic of your opponents. I found a cultist dispatch in the dungeons. It seems they are holed up in the Tower of Estrad. Demons have been filling Canabras with their spies and infiltrators for a long time. Unfortunately, I don't have enough people to attack the place right now, at least not blindly. 
I'd be grateful if you snuck in there and scouted out the situation. But just scouting. Don't be a hero. What is the situation in the city? Bad, but not hopeless. We're constantly getting news, and new sources of resistance keep springing up in the districts where everyone seemed to be dead. The survivors are gathering here. You should see them. Their faces, their eyes burning with determination. The city is destroyed, but our resistance is not broken. We will keep fighting. What do you plan to do next? You heard what the demon said. They're going to desecrate the Wardstone and blow up the whole barrier around the World Wound. That would be an even worse disaster than the World Wound's expansion before the Second Crusade. Not only Canabras, but every city with a Wardstone will be destroyed, including the capital. We can't allow that no matter what. We will retake it, even destroy it if we must. Iomade's gift must not become a weapon of the Abyss. Tell me about the Wardstone. Why is it so important? The Wardstones are a gift of Iomade. Created personally by her herald, a mighty angel. I think she already said this. Can I help in any way? The war First of all, we need to decide what to do with the stone once we get it. What I'm about to say is classified. A traveler came to the city recently. A blind elf calling himself the Storyteller. He insisted he be allowed to examine the ward stone, and he raised the alarm when his study was finished. Even before the demon attack, he had found some damage or flaw in the stone. Prelate Hulrune dismissed his words as nonsense, borderline blasphemy. But between you and me, the prelate's opinion isn't worth much. Hmm. I think the storyteller knew what he was talking about. We could use his advice right now. If only we knew where he was. I remember the storyteller spent a lot of time talking to Staunton, a dwarf from my unit. You saw him during the demon attack. The elf asked him about the history of the Crusades. Maybe the storyteller told Staunton something about where we could find him if anything happened. There's another problem. After the attack, the demons began to gather their forces at the Grey Garrison. It'll be even harder to take them with a head on assault. But I once heard soldiers talking about a secret entrance to the garrison. The trouble is, I have no idea where to look for it. While you explore the city, please keep your eyes open. In case you find something we can use. The half-orc smiles at you encouragingly. And one last thing. The Eagle Watch has lost a lot of soldiers recently. Some were killed, but others simply haven't been seen since the attack. In the chaos that is now Canabras, it's next to impossible to confirm anything for sure. <clears throat> One of the missing fighters is Janna Aldori. A new recruit in the Watch. She got along well with Sila, and she often went drinking with her. I honestly thought Sila and Janna had died together. But now Sila's returned with you and there's no sign of Janna. If you learn anything of her whereabouts when you're out in the city, please report back. Everything is clear. May the goddess help you. We're still fighting, which means that Canabra still hasn't fallen. If you come across any groups in the city that can fight, send them here to the Defender's Heart. We'll need every fighter we can muster for the final assault. Yes, one more thing. If you're in the area, check out this address. It's our house. Mine and Anevia's. Well, it was our house. If the building is still standing, Open the hidden compartment in the kitchen. It's filled with supplies for a rainy day. You can take whatever you find. You have more need of it. Okay. I'll talk with her. Hey, wait. Mind if I bend your ear about something? And Evie is outside your door, leaning casually against the shelf. So here's the first and most important thing. Beth gave you a crucial mission. And I get that. And I know you'll get the job done. I saw you in action. But here's the rub. By sending you out on an errand, we're weakening our defenses here. If they come at us while you're gone, I don't know if we'll be able to fight them off. When do you think the demons will attack next? Your guess is as good as mine. It might not be here. They could attack the whole damn city. Those vermin know they've lost the upper hand and that we're going to push back hard. If these kick off here, you should know. 
after they attack, some things could be changed beyond recognition. So if you got any business that needs taken care of, you better do it soon. Everything seems clear so far. What else do you wish to discuss? So the rift that Dan Beetle left with his guy, Scythe? Yeah, well it cut the city into two and it's kind of difficult to get across. My scouts tell me there's a halfway decent place to set up a crossing in Market Square. Not that any of them tried to make it, sure. But if you've got a mind to go across, and I think you're gonna have to eventually, you might want to get the square once over. Thank you for the warning. See you later. Later. Watch yourself out there. Awesome. All right. I think that's enough for one day. I appreciate everybody who has supported and watched today. Leave me a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care.